Welcome to another installment of Metal Detecting with Lugnut. I'm here again today in the yard of the 1887 house. I was inspired by the buffalo nickel and the Indian head penny that obviously there's still stuff in this yard that, uh, that I need to unearth. So I'm going to work here in the side yard and see what we can find under the grass. So enjoy, watch, comment. Thanks a lot. Wish me luck. Okay, I have a very strong signal here. I flipped it up. I do not have a pinpointer today. It is off having warranty work done on it. And I just couldn't wait any longer. But here is what came out of the hole. It is a fire truck, from what I can tell. I dinged it pretty good, but it's just a Top's mangled. Wheels are gone. It is a looks like a fire truck. That explains the 8183. Cars usually are up in that range. So that's pretty old. It's from the 50s, I bet. All right, next target. Got a strong 81, 80, all the way down to 77 signal. So uh, sounds like a penny. Flipped it out. I can see it already right there. See right there in the center, right here. Let's see what it is. There's Abraham Lincoln, and on the reverse is is too dirty. Let me uh, let me clean that up. I'll be right back. There we go. Get it in focus. There we go. Right back. It is a wheat scent, and. It says on this side 1957D. So there's still coins in this yard. Next target. Had a iffy bouncy signal everywhere from 69 up to uh, to 80. Ground's awfully dry, made a big messy hole. And uh, by waving clumps over the coil, I have found it. It's right here. I don't know what it is. Looks like a tag of some, no, oh. Huh. I don't know what that is. Any ideas? Suggestions? Cute little relic. A notch in it there. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I'll clean it up, see if it offers up any more clues. Otherwise, if anybody has any ideas, please uh, say something in the comments there. Alright, next target. I've got a solid 85 uh, in one direction and a solid 82 in the other direction. Cut it, but I haven't flipped it up yet. Let's see what this thing is. This is going to be tricky without the pinpointer. It 
Let's see. All right, I'll be right back. It's in the plug, and I can see it already. It's another car. Oh, they sound so amazing. Another old one, too. It's a station wagon. He mangled the station wagon. I didn't hit it. There's the words down inside there. I'll get those and we'll figure out what it is. And it's still got two wheels in the front here. Well, it was a green car, blue green station wagon. 50s. And, uh, chase the fire truck. Okay, next target. Okay, got a nice 77 80 signal. There's the imprint right there. And I flipped it out and it's sitting down in here. I already see that it's a coin. It's a wheat. There's Abraham Lincoln. And there's the wheat. Let me uh, let me get a date off of this. This isn't far from where I found the wheat on the night I found the Indian head. So let me check a date on this. It is a 1953 plane. So that's a little older than the other one. It's starting to get dark. Um, well, let's see what else I can find. Next target. A solid 80, 81 signal. We got a penny over here on the edge of this clump. Nope, it's not a penny. It's a dime. Clad Roosevelt. Let me see if it's uh, 50s like the rest of the coins we're finding this evening. Uh, now, of course, it's not 50s. It's not shiny. Uh, it is actually one year out of being shiny. It is a 1965, which is why it's not shining. Close to shiny. Nice imprint. Okay, next target. Got a 77 signal here. Thought it'd be another penny. I just picked up a 47 wheat just a couple feet away. But it's this, which is a makeup compact. Even has a mirror still inside. And this down in here is the makeup. Still there. I'll clean that up. There's probably a logo on it. I have to excuse the audio. My neighbor's running his zero turn mower. So uh, there's probably a logo on here. I dinged it a little bit. Okay, next target. Got a nice 47. 50, 52, kind of a nickel signal, 53. Look at this. Oh, imprint. Now, as you look down in here, there's something green. Something coiny. And something that. Let me 
clean that up. Hey, that looks like a V-nickel to me. Let me clean that up. I'll be right back. I think there's something on there. All right, be right back. I believe it is a V-nickel. Can't see a whole lot, but I can see right there, it says 1900, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna have to clean it up a lot more. It's uh, it's pretty smooth. But yeah, this says 1900 right there. There's, I don't see a whole lot on this side. But I'll go home, I'll clean it up a little bit. Hot dang, V-nickel. 1900 something anyway outstanding it would have been right there just like that cool next target good morning and welcome to the at work in the parking lot tailgate roundup it's a quick story on Monday in this very same parking space I stepped out of the truck here right onto or right next to a necklace that appeared to be silver and had a single pearl on it. I checked the necklace with a magnifying glass later on and it was indeed marked 925 and my daughter checked the pearl and it was real. It was 10 millimeters looked in a Macy's uh, website and a similar necklace costs hundred and twenty five dollars I'll show you a picture of that right now okay here's the roundup for the hunt at the 1887 house here's junk there's a street cleaner coming more junk big junk there's the two cars more junk shotgun shells and the little bits of pieces I know what this is this is the makeup compact on the back it says Max Factor Rouge Hollywood made in USA so that's from the 1930s I'll show you some better pictures of that uh, 55 nickel, 65 dime, and this is the first actually. I found nothing but wheats, and I'll give you dates on those. And then the, the really nice, and it's hard to see here, but I'll show you an inset. That is the 1900 V nickel. There you can see that. So that's pretty darn awesome. So this yard is still producing. So I'll be hitting it again. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and come back and let's see what's under the grass. Thanks again.